hello hello this video is about um, water filters and the stuff they use one can use to uh, make water so it's safe to drink um, I want to fill you guys in, in about something you know, how you, you know how you can go to a store and you can buy a water filter such as Brita by the brand of you know the uh, brand Brita <laughs> burrito no the brand uh, Brita and the brand pure and the brand uh, uh, I don't know whatever other brands they have there that that you just you know you put water in it in the in the filter like in the container and it filters you know the remove stuff from the water and then you can drink what has been filtered um, none of these I think none of them on the market that you can buy at a store that I'm aware of right now remove fluoride isn't that nice isn't that nice I just had to tell you that um, so um, there probably are some that remove fluoride um, but um, I, I I, I'm pretty sure that probably most of them at this time do not. You can buy them. There's a thing called um, there's a to, the way to remove fluoride from water is to um, there's a thing called reverse osmosis. Well, whatever whatever that means, right? <clears throat> what it is, pretty much what I get out of it is you boil the water, you boil water, it turns into a steam, you know, and then uh, and then you collect the water when it you collect the water um, that has been boiled in, into the air, okay? And that, I think, is the way you can remove fluoride from water. Another way is uh, there's a thing called uh, activated. I'm not sure how to say the second word, but it's it's uh, it's called activated alumina. I think it's called activated alumina. Okay, that's just some words they like to say. Um, they made up for this type of uh, this type of um, material, which can uh, which will absorb. I think it absorbs fluoride. Okay, and uh, so there, if one uses that in a filter, if it's using a filter, I believe fluoride can be removed. Uh, most of it can be removed, but I don't think most filters have that right now. Most water most water filters. Um, now you probably have heard about. Um, well, I guess what I'm, what I'm getting at here is that um, there is a way to. There are two ways that I'm aware of to remove fluoride from water. Um, obviously, one of them, like I said, was to boil it and then collect the steam, um, and uh, and then that should be the fluoride should be removed from it. And the other one is by using activated alumina. Um, Alumina is just a it's just a thing that has been made from something else that you use that you can use to remove fluoride from uh, from from water. That that's 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 what I'm going to call it right now. There there's more information about that. You can find it on Wiki, Wikipedia if you want to. Um, I'm not going to go into tech. A lot of technical words. It's just not. I don't know it all right now. Um, but anyway, um, let's let's put it this way. Alumina comes from. There's something that is called aluminum. And uh, there's a thing called aluminum hydroxide. And anyway, it, it comes from that. Okay. And then I don't know how to make aluminum hydroxide. So whatever so I'm being confused in here sorry uh, but anyway it gets technical because it is it gets kind of uh, you know special knowledge because it is you know um, it requires some special knowledge um, to understand it because well it's uh, not very uh, common but anyway uh, <laughs> okay now we all have a different topic I mean, same topic, but a different thing is there's a thing called there's a thing called uh, um, activated charcoal. 
Now charcoal is stuff that you take some hardwood, you burn, and you have charcoal, okay? And then this charcoal, is something is done to it, there's numbers of things that can be done to it in order to make it something called activated charcoal. When I say it, when I say activated charcoal, what I get out of it, 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 it means that it has been activated. <laughs> Okay, it has been it has been met, has been made ready to be used. Okay, and it has been made ready to be used by these things that are done to the charcoal. It's it's still charcoal. It's just it's just that the charcoal has something something has been done to it, so that um, it 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 is either not entirely charcoal, or um, it is. I think entirely charcoal. There's there's different things you can do. You can you can add something to it to make it um, so it's uh, ready to be used in filtering water. Um, something that can be done to it so that what I'm saying is that something can be done to it so that uh, I think it's so that it's so that it's uh, I'm kind of tired here. Sorry. <laughs> um, activated charcoal is charcoal that that has been something has been added to it so that it is ready to uh, be used in a water filter and and also it can just be um, heated really hot okay so that it is ready to be used to filter water also but nothing is added to it that's what I get out of it okay being really 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 you know this is how you do this and this is how you do that but anyway what I'm getting to is that um There's another thing, okay? Another way of filtering water is there's a thing, the filters you buy at with a, like a Brita water filter or a Pure water filter, these things are called micron water filters, okay? And a micron is, uh, let's put it this way, there are a million microns in a meter, okay? And the and the lower the number micron the better it is. Let's, I don't know, let's make it really simple and say the lower the lower the micron number, the better it is. And you want something lower. I would say lower than no no higher than one micron. Okay, because you got to fill. You got to get all these little the, um, stuff. You want to get a lot of stuff out of the water. And the lower the number, the better. I, you can. I think you can get it between. I think the lowest you can get it is point one. I'd recommend a 0 .3, 0 .35. That's really good, I think, actually. But anyway, these are all different things. Four different things I mentioned here. Uh, you have the one where you boil the water and you collect the water. That's the best. You probably you might want to still throw it throw it through a, uh, um, a you know in those uh, Brita water filters because I think it's a possibility that some of the stuff that's boiled into the air and then collected it might still have some uh, stuff that can make you sick in it okay um, but at least the fluoride will be out and then we have the other one we have the activated um, alumina which removes fluoride okay that's a that's a material that can be that can that water can be put through and it will remove fluoride then you have the act activated charcoal which um, you can remove uh, Chlorine with, I believe, and mercury, and I think uh, other things, uh, probably uh, drugs in the water and stuff like that. It's not; it doesn't work as good as a micron water filter, which is the fourth thing I spoke about. Chloride, uh, activated charcoal does not work as well. I've read as well as uh, a micron water filter. Um, so. Um, the best one would be, to, you know, if you're you're getting one or the other, you want to get a micron water filter, uh, but they cost a lot more than an activated charcoal water filter because you can't. I I don't know how to make the other one. I can make the activate. I think I can make the activated charcoal water filter. I, I have a more or less understanding. I think of that, um, but you're going to need a lot. You're going to have to. You're going to have to have more, I believe, of the activated charcoal material to filter the water as well as um, you have to have 
maybe I, you might even have to have four or five or six times as much as you might have to put the water through that much more activated charcoal that you then you have to put through the uh, through a micron um, water filter material. You might need that fi you might need five or six times as much of the material to get the same clean water. So it's one of those things, you know. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, so what it comes down to is that um, these people putting fluoride in our water, um, most people, I think a lot of people who listen to Alex Jones do not know that if you get a water filter, like Pure and Brita, that you, you cannot remove, that, that these things do not remove fluoride from the water. But they will remove um, things that will make you have diarrhea where it won't stop. <laughs> it will remove, um, I think, like uh, a lot of people taking psychiatric drugs and, you know, and it gets, I think small amounts of it get in the tap water. It, I think it removes that. It will remove, uh, I think, chlorine. It will remove lead and other things. I think a lot of, I, by the way, fluoride I, think, fluoride, I think, has been being put in the water since sometime in the 40s or I, I think I've read two different things. It was, the, it was put in, in the 40s or the 50s. It started. Um, I do know that over time, if a population is subjected to a chemical that over a number of generations, I do believe, that the, uh, the offspring of these generations will become less affected by what, is, what they're given. So if these, the, if you know, if this went on for a couple hundred years, um, humans might be immune to fluoride. <laughs> so they're gonna have to find something else to in water. Um, I think it works the same way with um, if you have a nuke that goes off in, a, in an area. The first, and you know, a nuclear bomb. The first generation of kids, a lot of them could be deformed and may not survive, and all this kind of stuff. But the ones that do, and the ones that do survive and have kids over, I think, a number of years, maybe even a thousand years, I don't know, a lot, most, if not all, of the offspring that are born, I think this is true, most, if not all, the offspring that are born will, will not have deformities anymore. They will be immune to the higher levels of, uh, of, uh, talk of our nuclear, um, um, higher levels of uh, radiation. You know, they'll be they'll be immune to the higher levels of uranium and whatever else they use. So it's one of those things. Life will find a way. You see. Um, so anyway, hope this wasn't extremely confusing. I. Um, but if you're looking to the the most, probably the most cheapest way. To remove stuff from your water, but in, including fluoride, is to get a water filter. Unless you have a limited amount of uh, way of heating water and collecting the steam, probably the cheapest way is to get a water filter that filters um, the cheapest, most easiest way. I'll just give it that to you. Give that that to you. The cheapest and easiest way for you without any work. Is to get a water filter that that is um, that is a micron water filter and which uses a um, activated which also uses a activated um, an activated alumina water filter also. You want those two filters. If you want to go extremely cheap and you have a lot of ability to boil water in time. What you do is you make your own activated charcoal. This is what I get out of it. Make your own activated charcoal and boil your water first, let it cool, and then pour it through the activated charcoal. And I think you'll get the same thing. It just takes more work and stuff like that. Uh, the, best, the best option is not have uh, fluoride put in the water in the first place. That'd be nice. Okay, there's the video. Hope you have a good one.